Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are off to get rid of some garbage. Uh, we have to make room in our garage for the wall partition, get that out of the way. And uh, there's a little spot right here for my phone. Oh, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. Is there a spot there for my phone? Yes, that works. Uh, so we did a clean out of the garage, made room for, we had like garbage bag, a couple boxes, more than a couple boxes of stuff that we could recycle. Um, and we have, because they've upgraded our garbage, I'm gonna turn this on, hang on. So they've upgraded our garbage a couple times. And uh, back in the day when we had three cats, we needed two recycle bins uh, for compost, compost bins, I guess we should call them the green ones. So, uh, and then they upgraded us our garbage system is completely different than they gave us another one. So we have three uh, compost buckets. So you can return them to the garbage or to the dump. Uh, so we'll give them back one of them. And we also have like a big garbage bin from one of Ben's old houses uh, or apartments. And then we have a whole bucket of uh, electronics stuff that we've been saving up to take to the dump because you can dump that for free at the dump. Uh, and that's pretty much it and some cardboard. So I thought I'd make a little bit of a vlog out of it. Carol's gone to dinner with some friends. Uh, I haven't been feeling that great the last couple of days. I've, I've, when we came back from, let, let me get on the road and I'll talk to you in a second. Hang on. When Paul and I came back from Daytona beach, uh, Carol made me do a COVID test, which I did and it was negative. And then, and that was the, actually Thursday morning, she made me do the COVID test. And then we went to my sister's for uh, Easter and had a little family gathering. And before I was allowed to go to my sister's, I had to take another COVID test. So I did another rapid test, negative. And then uh, a couple days later after that, I started getting a sore throat, probably the Monday after maybe the Tuesday after, yeah, maybe Tuesday, I started getting a sore throat, turned into a headache, and uh, snuffles, sniffles, congested, just, it seems like a regular normal cold. So Carol said, let's do another test. So we did a third test, negative. And then we did another test yesterday, negative. So the whole time I've been negative COVID, and of course, when you get sick nowadays, everybody just immediately thinks it's COVID. Uh, but it looks like I just got a typical congestion cold and it's all up in my head. Nasty, nasty headache. So pretty much all last week was edit, edit, edit and uh, get stuff done around the house and uh, organize the van because we really want to start getting stuff. We went on the internet, we bought ourselves the Max Air Deluxe fan, which we're going to install right here. Hopefully the camera isn't shaking too much. It looks like it's shaking a lot. I hope the stabilizer is doing a good job. If not, I apologize. So uh, yeah, got all my, so I've got the, the the Joe's Crab Shack done, Bucky's done. I just launched the Waffle House, that's done. I have one more with Paul and JP at a pizza place in Orlando. So that will go up probably Thursday or Friday, because today's Monday. Uh, Carol and I are gonna shoot a new video uh, we actually did shoot a video. She bought a new inflatable kayak for when we go out on our adventure out west because I'm going to be doing cycling for three days with my cousin and my cousin's wife isn't going to be uh, available to uh, hang out with Carol the whole time. So Carol wants to go out on her own and do some kayaking. We don't want to strap a kayak to the roof of this uh, for thousands of kilometers and wind resistance and extra fuel costs. It's raining like cats and dogs. There we go, still learning all the controls. So the number one thing we wanna put in this van is the vent. We wanna have circulation, uh, whether it's cold or hot. Then we want to do the floor and then insulate and build a bed and a table for cooking on. And I would like to put swivel chairs in here, but I found one company that sells them, they're like $500 per chair. So $1,000 for swivel chairs. That's just 
that's a lot of money for a swivel chair so but they're like super low profile so they only add like that much to your height and uh i don't know we'll have to figure it out so like i said right now i'm going to the dump to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff we took out that that wall divider between the cab and the back we put that in the garage that's hence that's why i have to clean up the garage to fit that in there nicely and also tidy up the garage have all the tools ready for when carol and i start working on this van uh we're gonna probably do most of our building at home depot because there i just know it i'm gonna drive all the way to bradford get certain things i need get back here and there'll be something i'm missing something extra i need so we're just gonna get the uh, blue eddy use that make sure that's all fully maxed out power and uh hopefully if we need something to zip into uh home depot grab it come back here and then we don't waste a lot of time and money and gas and stuff so let's get to the dump and uh, get rid of some of this stuff only one person ahead of me nice i think i only have all recycling stuff and electronics. Hello. Hi. Hi there. How are you today? Six, six, two, one, eight. I'm very good. How are you today? Okay. Good. Uh, where are we coming from? Innisville. Uh, another neighbor comes in. Yay. Well, what do we got? Uh, I pretty much have uh, electronics and then recycling on the way out plus toxic stuff. Okay, so no no drywall, no wood, no, no. garbage. It's just all so from free home. Stuff. Yeah. How are we going to make any money off of you? Yeah. So oh, and I have one of the um, the recycle bins, like one of the old green ones. Drop it there beside okay. number one. Okay. Okay, you're free to go when you're done dropping your scrap metal in your bin. Let's go around that dirt road here and, and down to house. Thank you. Have a great day, sir. Thanks. You too. He's just triple checking. Triple checking. So first is the green bin drop off here. All the old green bins. I have to keep remembering what I'm driving. It's big. Those are the old bins. There's more there. Oh no. Oh no. I guess it locks when I start driving. How do you unlock? Oh, yeah, it's in the middle. Oh, that's what fell. I knew something fell over. We will need that continually, for sure. Old bin. Everything else is toxic. This is recycling, 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 recycling. There's our max fan. That's not going to recycling. Uh, this is electronics. I don't need that open anymore. Oh, it's not auto. Aw, it's not automatic windows. It's like you just press it once and it just does it. You keep your finger on it forever. Metal scrap coming up. Guessing the recycling stuff is on my way. I was always afraid I'm gonna get a flat in here. The 
van's gonna be extra dirty. It's all like mud and dirt. So recycling bin and then the toxic stuff. And I have like old, not paint cans, but spray cans and the green propane cylinders that we use for uh, stealth camping. Please break down your cardboard. Okay, what was that? Oh, seatbelt. Um, some recycling. Got all the recycling out, but then I had to walk all the way back to the uh, cardboard spot. The recycling was in the cardboard box, and I needed the cardboard box to dump break down the cardboard boxes and then head on over. Oh well. Can't be all smooth, could it? No idling while dropping off materials. Engines off. Unlock the doors this time. the walk all the way around although I'm getting the floor all dirty with this mud he was kind enough to uh, uh oh what's that what's that mean what's wrong with you Ooh, that was weird what's up with that huh Mercedes didn't start for a second there I'm not sure if it's because I left the key in there we don't know let's put you guys over here there you go all right, so I had the uh, our lot, one of our broken uh, recycle bins, green, uh, blue recycle bins, and we have like four of them, and we don't need them anymore because we now have that huge monster one that they gave us. So this one was broken. We use the other ones for like lawn waste and stuff when we're doing lawn maintenance, and we use that to put the weeds in and move it around. So uh, we kept like, two or three of them, and uh, this one though was garbage. All right, time to go home. Hope you guys enjoyed. I think I got everything. That'll, that'll be really annoying. Yeah, I'm keeping this one green milk, um, I don't know what they call it, milk crate. I call them record crates because back in the day, the records fit perfectly on the LPs. Yeah, I got everything. Uh, actually, I forgot one thing, but uh, we can just throw that in the garbage when I get home. Our garbage was getting full after we started. Re That's why I went to the dump. Our bins were getting full and recycling is not until next Sunday. So it's like six days away. I'm not sure how much more recycling we're gonna have between now and then. Anyway, I guess I could always like make another trip. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Tomorrow is uh, probably we're gonna try and install the fan. Yesterday was like the perfect day to do the fan, but we weren't quite prepared to just do it yet for the for the ceiling vent and today was rainy and crappy tomorrow's rainy and crappy and i don't want to be on this roof in uh, a slippery rainy condition so uh and we're gonna have to make sure we have all the right things towels to put down i need a jigsaw i've got a jigsaw i just need the, the proper metal blade it's gonna be weird cutting into my van but uh, I've seen other people do it and they're terrified just like I am, and, but they did a great job. And thanks to anybody and everybody who puts out videos of them installing stuff uh, into their cars or vans and show us how terrifying it is for you to do it. And then show us your mistakes that you've made, show us your triumphs. And uh, it's, just, it's nice to see people make mistakes and then we can learn from your mistakes and chances I'm gonna make a ton of mistakes I already know it but uh, we're gonna make we're gonna bring you guys along and we'll probably put probably be putting those ones on the big channel so stay tuned all right guys thanks for hanging out with me today I hope I answered uh, the question of me not putting up a vlog for a few days just been busy you know just like you 
All right, guys, see you in the next vlog.